Are we live? All right, we're rolling. What's up guys? Today I wanna to talk about Aquarium Gar. And this is gonna be short and simple. I have some super cool footage, so stay tuned. Um, Aquarium Gar. The two most common types are the Spotted Gar and the Florida Gar. Number one, uh, they, it's said that a lot of people think they have Spotted Gars, but they're actually Florida Gars. And uh, just look into it. Maybe you have a Florida Gar and you think you have a Spotted. So do, do some in-depth research. I've I've been told that most of them in the industry are actually Florida gar. So secondly, these fish are very long, an elongated body, super, super fast, and they aren't meant to be in an aquarium. And when I say that, don't get mad, but it's completely true. These fish put on miles and miles a day in natural habitat, and it's just, to put them in a six foot long tank for a two foot long fish just isn't right, but we do it anyway. So uh, let's at least make make it the best that we can so get a big tank as big as you can a 125 gallon tank isn't big enough guys this sucks but it's the bitter truth get a 210 and up three foot tank three foot width most commonly um just the biggest tank you can get your hands on dang it um get get some crazy filtration these guys are ravenous feeders and they commonly are eating feeders in natural habitat and tons and tons of shrimp. There was a study that found that over 50% of their diet was shrimp. So feed them raw shrimp or cut up tilapia, uh, insects, worms, etc. It's gonna be super annoying keeping up with feeding them because it sucks with these predators. Just trust me, I've done it. Uh, going to the bait store to get bait, it just gets super annoying. My dog's in here, she's just chilling. I don't know, she's being weird today. But um, I got some super cool footage. Let's take a look at these spotted gars, or AKA Florida gars, they are most likely. All right, so when taking care of aquarium gar, um, it's really easy when they're juveniles, except for the fact that when you first get them, they're going to be super skittish. So I would advise uh, keeping at low lighting and just taking your time with eating because they're probably not going to eat for a little while and it takes these fish a little while to starve to death so you don't have to uh, like worry because a lot of people will try to overfeed them and the food just sits there and decays at the bottom and wrecks your water so uh, just know that they're not going to eat right away and they're very finicky eaters once you start them um, and what, ha what usually happens is they won't eat and people go out and get some feeder guppies. And then once you start feeding them feeders, it's really hard to feed them anything else because these are finicky fish and it's just, that's how it goes. As far as tank size for these fish, you're going to want to get as big as tank as possible. I know it's really common to get a juvenile and just start with them really small. And it's easy to say, yeah, I'm just going to upgrade tanks, but actually, uh, be diligent and nail down and actually do it. So um, like I said before, it's really common that these are actually mainly Florida gars and not spotted gars. So I found out that a lot of people actually think they have spotted gars, but they're Florida gars. So um, protein rich diets, uh, like 70% protein rich, uh, raw shrimp, cut up tilapia, get some super good filtration. We're not talking hang on the back filters. This is uh, can straight canister filters or build your own sump strictly. So um, anything I would, I would advise a minimum of 200 gallons minimum and um, if you can try to get them to eat some pellets once in a while because pellets do have good vitamins in them for fish and it's it's just a good idea to, to get them in the fish once in a while. As far as keeping them with other fish or like tank mates, it's really up in the air with this. Some people find that they do well with other predators like um, predator cichlids or stingrays or maybe a big paku just really uh it's going to depend the specific fish because each fish has a different personality and it's important to realize that and the longer aquarium you can get the better like because this is an elongated fish uh, a better footprint would be a longer tank like some they do make some tanks that are like 400 gallons and they're only four feet wide the wider longer tanks are better just because these fish in natural habitat they swim tons and tons of miles every single day and it it's just it it's the body and the fashion on which it wants to move is just a longer tank does better with these fish 
You also may find that a lower lighting, a lower level of lighting may be better for your fish because they're pretty used to darker waters and it's, it's, you know, they're, th these are somewhat skittish fish. It's really common for these fish to, if you get on monsterfishkeepers.com and search them, people's fish actually get their spine broken because they get scared and they get startled and they just run right into the tank, side of the tank and they break their spine. It's kind of a sad deal, but it's just the bitter truth of like how these fish work. Like, and like I said at the beginning of the video, this isn't a good fish to keep in an aquarium, but we just so happen to do it. So the better you can create their habitat, the better lives they're going to have. And it's, uh, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to hit the comment section. I try to reply to all the all the comments. Make sure to like this video. Let me know if you're thinking about keeping a gar, if you're, if you're thinking of getting a spotted gar or a uh, Florida gar. I know some people keep alligator gars, even though it's a, a crazy thing because they get 10 feet long. But I'm going to quit preaching and blabbing because it's kind of a weird scenario when keeping monster fish in aquariums. It's kind of like keeping a dog in a car. You know what I mean? Like a dog needs more room to play, but uh, maybe the bigger the car, the better. I don't know. It's just, this is a weird, this weird scenario, keeping monster fish in small tanks. Um, let me know what you guys think. Add me on Facebook, etc., etc. Um, hit me up on Palmer Fish Aquatics Facebook group or the Facebook page. Um, I buy and sell, sh I buy and sell fish. So yeah. All right, guys. Cool, cool.